Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dubai. Getting ready for our next race here of the International Road Tour here. International Tour. Let's get down to your starting lineup on the pole. We have Levi McIntyre next to him. Brian James, third. Scott Roush, fourth. Sky Commons, fifth. Ramey Fisher, sixth. Alex Drayton, seventh. Cody Lamas, eighth. Benjamin Miles, ninth. Dylan Thoreau, clean the top ten. Jeffrey Finguy. This is your starting lineup from 11th and 12th on back. And on the final row, Kyle Matthews, James Qualls. So I'm going to try to do this real quickly for the Cup Series here because I know the commands can be coming very shortly. Uh, points leader coming into this event is Phil Parker by eight points over Benjamin Miles and Seth Cole. Quentin Moore, fourth for the points. Nicky Martinez, fifth for the points. Cody Smart jumped up to six. Brian James fell to seven. Aaron Douglas jumped up to eighth. Allison Rain, Scott Roush, they complete your top ten. Kyle Matthews, after his good run, he jumped up to 15th, gaining 12 spots. And command has already been given. 27 laps will be here for today's race. If you watch the Xfinity race, as one car's got an issue, that is Alex Ferranti in the 84. You know what you're going to be in store. A lot of strategy that's going to really come into play. The tires are going to be the issue. There's Ferranti on pit road. Tough break for the 84 team. Levi McIntyre. Brian James, they're going to lead the field down. RJ Bishop and others are going to get there in the nick of time. Green flag is out, and we're underway in Dubai. Three wide for third. Look at Ramey Fisher in the 11. He said to hell with it. Time to hit the gas. Fisher will get third. Benjamin Miles trying to get a spot off Dylan Throw. Cody Smart in the 97. Who's been off to a very terrific start to this rookie's campaign there in that Great Clips Toyota. They get through a couple of the main trouble spot corners right there in the beginning of the portion of the race. Now some of those drivers that started in the very rear of the field, thanks to what happened to Ferranti, they really didn't start in the way that was predicted there. Like, James Qualls in the 70s, Zach Flickinger in the 9, Allison Rain in the 7, just to name a few. All those drivers managed to gain at least a few positions there. At least in the top 35, top 30. But Levi McIntyre is going to complete the first lap here in Dubai. Brian James, P2 for Archangel Racing. Now, remember the rookie campaign, he Managed to get a win early on in the resume. Then picked up another win in the chase. And now he's trying to do it once again on a road course. I'll tell you what, Archangel Racing, not too bad on the road courses there. And you see with two of their drivers, one in the top 10, one just outside the top 10. JT Bryant was in the 10th position. Now Smart in the 10th position. Now trying to get ninth from Jeffrey Finguy. And one driver who's been struggling within the last few seasons, who's having a very good run, Alex Drayton in the 14 car. That is one driver I'm very happy to see that's up here. Not going to lie. Now Brian is slipping to the 22. Benjamin Thomas in the 15, the rookie. To his inside. He's going to get it. Now tries to give a small shot to the 97 to see me get it on the right-hand side for that 10th position right there. Jeffrey Finguy in that ninth spot in that Amco Mustang. Not going to get Cody Smart. Cody Lamas going around Scott Roush for position. He's going to clear the 60. Not so fast. Roush back on the attack. Now with Roush, a lot of rumors whether or not he will be coming back next season. No official word yet from Fingai Pastrami Racing, but we'll see what happens. Rauscher came in last season having a very good run. Made the chase, did what he could. And this season, kind of having up and down there. and Sound like someone had smacked the wall there.
no idea, but Ferranzi back out in the course. Oh, trouble for Adam Garcia and Brett Pritchard. Tough break for both of those drivers. Some damage to Quint Moore and Nicky Martinez. Wow, James Qualls almost made a four wide. Look at this, though. They are four wide. Look at this. Look at Qualls in the middle. Amanda Evans in the 65. Oh, man, there's where you see the tire marks. That's what happened to Garcia and Pritchard. Holy cow. Now Thomas working on Ace Wild and Cody Smart. Drayton right now in that pivotal 10th position. He has been slipping back a bit. Benjamin Miles now on the attack is at 62. Is that Hurts Mercedes? It seems Team Hurts has figured out their uh, problems there. Switching to Mercedes has definitely helped out this 62 team hands down. They have showed it early on. Got an early win in the resume. Now Miles trying to do what he can. And look for a second win. McIntyre with the fastest lap of the 124.78. Fisher with the second fastest. And no wonder why they are the top two. However, Fisher has just been not able to get any ground gain on Levi McIntyre. Brian James, Sky Commons. They have caught up to the 11's rear. I would not be surprised if Sky Commons makes an attempt on Brian James in the 94. Now Lamas on the run. In that fifth position, looking for fourth on Sky Commons. Benjamin Miles is starting to creep in on Cody Lamas as well. Man, McIntyre's just running draft laps right now. Having a terrific run. So eyes will be on Quint more in the 89. Looks like, um, does he have left and right side? No, just left side. He's definitely going to repair some damage. Nicky Martinez is going to repair some damage. Looks like Moore's been really been the one that's struggling the most there. Martinez, not as bad, but still, though. Now, we should see our first cycle of pit stops on lap 7 of 27. Unless some strategy is really going to kick into play here. And here comes Ace Wild on the attack now, trying to get into that 10th position as that Interstate Batteries Toyota. Wild's going to get the 10th spot at the line. But for how long? Drain's going to have the preferred line. Oh, man. Wild had a much better corner than Drayton. He's going to hold on. JT Bryant trying to take advantage of Alex Drain, trying to get the 11th position. He's going to be in the preferred groove once he's, in the, once he's past the left-hander here and couldn't get the extra momentum there. Battle for position. Connor Meyer, James Ellison, no. That's a spot inside the top 20. Trent Dunn currently right now in the 20th position. Previous race winner, Audrey Baranowskis. Trying to work on Cole Deaver for the 21st position. And Sam and Oskin. Seeing how Miles is doing really well. He needs to be on the attack. Here he is off Aaron Douglas in the top 25. This is for 23rd right now. Should get it off this uh, right hander here. Going to keep an eye on this battle right now. And we're getting closer to that cycle of pit stops that are going to really come into, into play here. And couldn't seem to clear it.
too, and McIntyre keeps opening up that lead. They continue to run away from Ramey Fisher in the 11. I'm amazed with Cody Lamas there. He managed to get fourth, but Sky Commons not left go of that ally Chevrolet there. And now he's starting to run away. So now comes the question. Will these drivers come down pit road this time by, or are they going to wait till next time? Or come on down, but McIntyre may be the one to keep an eye, because remember, he's got the very first stall. And we've seen the Xfinity race. Normally, that's not really a good idea to have. But he has a very good lead right now, and they're going to wait to come on in. However, Brian James will come on in from the lead pack. Sky Commons, Benjamin Miles, Dylan Thoreau, Jeffrey Finguy, JT Bryant. Those are the main leaders that came on down. Let's see if anybody else coming on down there. James Ellison, Connor Meyer, Cole Deaver. They're also down. Jessica Shelton. Diego Yepes also down. Let's see how many laps down Ferranti is right now. Only one lap down, so he got very lucky. Pritchard and Garcia out of the race in the 6 and 54. So eyes will definitely be on car 99 and car 11. You'll see who's going to really take full advantage here on these pit stops. Ramey and Fisher, they're trying to get whatever momentum right here before coming down pit road. Let's see as McIntyre's coming down. Fisher down. Lamas down. Let's see if anyone's going to play any strategy here. Not one driver. Now, I guarantee you, Martinez and Moore, they're definitely going to get their cars repaired, especially from the earlier incident there. As far as how it happened, I, I guarantee that'll be fun look up, look up right, right there. Let's see if Fisher can take advantage on uh, McIntyre coming slow off pit road. Both going out at the same time. Fisher did get a little bit of ground game, but not as good as Cody Lamas, though. Here comes Brian James of the 94. And Pitton Early has helped Brian James hands down. Sky Commons has gotten around Ramey and Fisher. That's for third. But McIntyre, for the time being, is going to hang on to the lead. Nicky Martinez are repairing that car. A little bit. Same for Quentin Moore in the 89. Let's see if we can find any notables there. Trent Dunham uh, took a very poor pit stop there. JT Bryant, not bad of a stop for him. Miles trying to work on Cody Lamas once again. And Miles easily just passed the 48. He definitely got the fresh rubber kicking in. And Cody caught napping. So the early stop is the way to go. McIntyre has led every lap this race. But for how long? Brian James is hungry, folks. And he is on the attack. Definitely messed up off that corner there, though. This may allow Sky Commons to reel some ground in on the 94. May make a move for second. But I'm telling you, we've seen some stranger things happen before in Dubai, so... 
I would not think that Levi McIntyre is going to get the win easily in the bag. Top three, literally nose to tail. Four Toyota Mercedes. And look at Miles now coming in on Rainy Fisher for fourth. That's 62, man. It's got a really good car. Side by side is the Hertz Mercedes and the Credit One Bank Chevrolet. Yeah, Miles couldn't clear right there. And now Fisher and all those guys who've hit it the second time. This is where their fresh rubber is going to really come into play against the guys who pitted the lap before and lost out on some of the ground there with the pit stop there they had. Looked like for a second Sky Commons was going to make a move for a second but couldn't seem to do it. Just had a little bit of a small lag there. My apologies, folks. So we're going to take a very quick break. We're going to let the frame settle on in. And you won't miss much here on this race. Don't go away. You're not going to miss much here at Dubai. Welcome back. You've not missed much there. Levi McIntyre have not missed a whole lot of action there. He has continued to lead. However, Sky Commons, he has been creeping on that back bumper of Brian James. And I don't know, man. We may see a battle for second. Maybe the lead soon. If you can tell, turn one and two. Definitely do not want to make your passes there. You want to make your passes when the right side of the course is going to come into play. See, Benjamin Miles once again tried to do that on Cody Lamas. As he lost his spot to uh, Lamas in the 48. Now Miles wanting to attack the 48 and get that spot back. And you can see Miles not getting a good exit, but he got the spot, though, off the 48. And you see that 48 had a small wiggle. And exactly just lost the spot there. Bill Throw. Fell out of the top 10 a little earlier, and he's got himself back into the top 10. Good run by that National Guard Chevrolet. JT Bryant currently ninth. Ace Wild completing the top 10 just outside of it. Alex Strait in the 14. Connor Meyer in 12th. James Ellis in 13. Scott Roush 14. Cody Smart hanging around the top 15. Keith Batson sneaking into the top 20. Jessica Shelton sneaking into the top 20. And Dylan Pote, a little silent all day. Shit. Currently in the 20th position. A little contact almost there between Baranowskis and Shelton. Man, 18th, 19th, and 20th literally were bumper to bumper there. And Poti going to make a move for 19th there. OT, can he clear the 0 2? Good exit. Oh, but Sheldon's going to get back on the attack. Can she get her position back from the 31? Oh, man, still balanced side by side are the two veterans of the league. One's been here since day one. One has been here since day two. And Poteet's going to get that spot right there from Shelton. Good effort by the Conchon TV, but couldn't seem to do it. Ellison trying to battle Scott Roush for position. And Ellison's going to hang on. However, it's going to allow Cody Smart to try to take advantage of Scott Roush's mistake. He's in that preferred groove, too, that right side of the course. Cole Deaver's going to join the fray as well. And their next sights are going to be on James Ellison, the 0-3. Great battle going on inside the top 15 there. All behind Connor Meyer, so he's got to be thankful these guys are bound like crazy. And all three of those drivers have gotten around Scott Roush. Your 500 winner, Keith Batson. Wow, they all got jumbled up right there. I'm amazed they didn't plow into each other there. And now Smart. Trying to go after James Ellison for position coming off of turn one. 
And James, you can see in the interval, has been losing ground on Levi McIntyre, as too is Sky Commons. See, Ellison's been getting some draft, but now the draft's going to go to Cody Lamas. Roush trying to figure out where he wants to go. Oh, but he's going to be committed to Cody Smart there, and that's where he's going to pay the price. Oh, man, a little contact between Roush and Ellison. That could have been very bad right there. But look at Smart fighting on the high line right there in that Great Clips Toyota. Man, Meyer's got to be thankful he's seeing all that battle going on right behind him. Man, they're having a really good battle here. Cody Smart, James Ellison, Scott Roush, Cole Deaver, and Keith Batson all in the mix. A Toyota, a couple of Mustangs, a Chevrolet, and a couple of Chevys there. Now you can add Aldous Baranowskis and Dilipozzi to the mix. And cars coming down pit road. Connor Meyer, pit stops again. Lap 15 of 27. James and Comets coming down. So this will let McIntyre take the lead. Fully there. At the line between McIntyre and Fisher was just over a second and then Cody Lamas four seconds back from the 99 car I mean, these guys all over here man are having a great battle and I'll tell you what when the pit stops are gonna come into play here I have no idea what to expect but I guarantee you they're probably just gonna get themselves in position there unless someone does something pretty crazy there and Batson just literally shoved the 60 out of the way saying hey man Get out of my way. Couldn't seem to do it. Now McIntyre and that sick go forward. Here he comes, coming down. No one pulled any strategy last time by and stayed out all the way. Cody Lamas though's gonna do it. And Cody will lead a lap right there. That's a big bonus point for that 48 team. So not the first driver that's not leaving McIntyre. Cody Smart's going to stay out. Audrey Baranowski is still in Poti. Everyone else is on down. And there's Brian James in the 94. Let's see if he beats McIntyre this time by. Oh man, McIntyre kind of went a little slow off there. Here comes James. Full head of steam. And Brian James is going to beat out Levi McIntyre. He caught the 99 napping. Hasn't cleared him yet. But oh man, McIntyre did not know Brian was on the run. And completes the pass. New leader. Now, Sky Commons in the third. He knows Brian's got the lead. But for how long will he get it? Because McIntyre, I guarantee you, once those tires warm up in that 99 car, he's going to really go after that 94 team there. Rest of those leaders coming on down. Amanda Evans also had stayed out on the course. Let's see if Cody will play a little bit of a uh, good strategy here. But I'm pretty sure he's going to go four tires and two cans of gas. But that means, I guarantee you, that 48 is going to try some big-time strategy here. We've seen Allison Rain do it a couple of seasons ago. So I don't know if it's going to really work out. Cody led another lap at the line. And right there, Brian James, he's going to surpass the 48 team. Top three have gotten around him. Ramian Fisher has gotten around him in the 11. Benjamin Miles, Jeffrey Finn guy have gotten around him. And for the time being, that'll be it.
Man, Evans leaving her stall in the 65. Phil Parker, your points leader. 29th last time by. He got ahead of Seth Cole, so now 28th. Not a good day for him in that battle for the points. Seth Cole is one of those drivers he had to keep an eye on there. James Qualls trying to figure out how to get around Dylan Pote and Scott Rauch. Uh, we're going to step aside. You're going to take a very, very quick break. Up away, you're not going to miss much here at Dubai. Welcome back as we are at 10 laps to go here in the race. Brian James with the lead and a battle for second now is suing Sky Commons to the inside line goes the Las Vegas Raiders Mercedes. Can't seem to do it. Tucks back in line. And we'll have to hold up for now. Brian James now has gotten that lead fully. May have to deal with Quentin more unless one more pit stop will come into play. Fisher and Finn Guy completing that top five. Benjamin Miles who's back on the ground attack there in that sixth position. He's hunting down Finn Guy and Fisher looking to get that fourth position. Connor Meyer, Ace Wild, the big surprise in the top 10. Don't count out Jessica Shelton trying to get into that top 10 battle as two with Alex Drayton. How about Yepes in 13th right now? Battle for 14th between JT Bryan and James Ellison, 16th. Cody Smart, 17th. Dodger Baranowskis, Joshua Osborne in the top 20 and 18th. 19th Cole Deep in top 20, Scott Roush. And McIntyre going for that lead once again. He's got it off Brian James. Ray taking the lead is Levi McIntyre. I told you those tires are going to warm up for McIntyre. And you just seen full effect what's going to do. Now for Brian. He knows his speed is starting to scruff now because of those tires already being worn out. Thomas is looking to do second place on that 94 car. And all over the back bumper of that Wegmans Toyota. Here he goes. Here comes Commons. Moves the 94 a little bit to the high line. Commons already peaking. Trying to complete off the right-hander here. And he's going to complete the pass. Nice move by Sky Commons in the 17. Brian's going to try a rebound on the attack right here coming to the line. Brian in the preferred groove coming off this corner. Commons got a great exit off the corner. He's going to get second for Brian James. Let's look through the more in the field there, see what we got going on. Walls now back in the top 20. As he's past Cole Devers, slipped a couple spots. Dill Pozzi, Keith Batson, Allison Rain, Sam and Oscar in the top 25, Trent Dunham, Seth Cole, Phil Parker, Kyle Matthews, Quinn Spillman, Zach Flickinger, Amanda Evans, Zachary Fitzwater, Jesse Turner, Aaron Douglas, RJ Bishop. Brought to you one lap down in that 84. Nikki Martinez, Benjamin Thomas. Wow, what happened to the 15 car? Doesn't appear to have damage. Putting more down pit road in the 89. So now you can add him into the lap down category. Once they get up to the 89 car. And Fisher has caught Brian James. Look at this. Yeah, Brian's speed is definitely scrubbing off for sure. Those tires, you can see, are feeling that effect. He, yeah, he ran a 122-300. The others are running 121-3, so a full second behind. On that last lap.
Oh, what happened to Bryant? A lot of damage to the 22. He was up in the top 15 there. And Bryant is just damaged, man. That car really destroyed that 22. Oh, can't wait to see what happened to him. And pit stops. Sky Commons. Brian James, they're going to lead that portion of the field down. So eyes will be on Sky Commons and Brian James. But who's going to benefit off the pit stops here? And then meanwhile, eyes will be on Levi McIntyre, Ramey, and Fisher. In case you're wondering about Brian, he's already completing the uh, course here and should be crossing the stripe any moment or at least coming down pit road. So, tough break for JT. Slow stop for Brian James. And the choke is starting to happen on the 94. Jeffrey Finn guy with a very good pit stop in the Amco Ford Mustang. Hell, Meyer may even get uh, Brian James for all that matters, too. Now, McIntyre coming on down. Fisher, Lamas is going to stay out. This is where if you're Cody, you may want to stay out as long as you can there. Paranowskis, Cody Smart also staying out. Dylan Pote, Keith Basson also staying out. Another car staying out, man, to Evans in the 65. That was the drivers from last time, too. So will Sky Commons surpass the leader of that group, Levi McIntyre? And JT out of the race with the piston issue. Get stopped by Dylan Thoreau in the four. Fisher did not get ahead of the 99, no surprise. Collins way too far back. Oh, man. That 99 team killed that pit stop. Collins got around Ace Wild, however. Dylan Throw with a great pit stop as well. Really, really good. So eyes are on Cody Lamas in the 48. In that ally Camaro. Will he risk it? Nope, he's going to come down now. Five to go, heading to four at the line. Anyone else going to come on down? Yep, everyone's down. So McIntyre may inherit the lead at the end of it there. McIntyre did not lead at the line. There's Cody. And look at this. Levi McIntyre. What a day as he had. Will be the leader. Levi McIntyre. At the line, three laps to go. Cody had a very good pit stop still regardless. P3 right now. Commons in fourth. Throw fifth. Finn guy sixth. Ace Wild got up to seven. Brian James fell back to eighth. And Alex Strain, P10 right now. And that 14 team has not given up all day long. They want a top 10. Here they are. Right when it matters the most. Hell, he may take ninth from Connor Meyer in the 51. 
I don't think anyone's going to get that 99 machine. He is just too dang good today, and no one's had any answer for that sick go forward. Three to go. Fisher. Two and a half seconds back at least. Oh, man. Thomas was 3.7 at the line. Comments, however, did run his fast lap with a 126.87. But this is where when you pit first, this is where you got to make your moves now. And especially all those guys aren't really that warmed up yet, but that's why Comments basically went with that early strategy. It works early on, but I feel like once that white flag comes, that's where I feel like the car is just not going to be 100%. He'll give it a try, though. This is the driver I thought that was really going to get full in the strategy. It was Cody Lomas. I thought he was going to stay out all that time and try to go for that win, but that was not the case. Comments has caught Ramey and Fisher in the 11. Fisher's going to move up the course. Comments going to look underneath for that second position. Full out of steam is Las Vegas Raiders Mercedes. With two to go, Comments easily takes the spot. And Comments knows his car's in the rhythm. Two and a half seconds back. I don't think it's going to be enough time, but that 17's going to give it a go, though. On board. That car is kind of going a little wide there. And you can see Commons though, he is definitely going to give it a go. I just don't think he's going to have enough time. This is McIntyre's car by now. It's definitely warmed up. The sick go forward of Levi McIntyre. Getting ready to head off the final corner. About ready to see the white flag in hand. One lap to go for Levi McIntyre. Can he pull it off? Comments has definitely gained the ground. But his time ran out for the Las Vegas Raiders Mercedes. 1.1 seconds away. And Comets has definitely got the car, man. Look at him going. 121, 154, 122, 631. Man, that's at least a second right there. Comets is really pushing that car. I'll tell you what, man. Comets is really wanting to go for this here. Will the gamble pay off? Look at this. Comets has got the draft of the 99. Look at him go. Real quick, Finn Guy has now gotten fourth from Cody Lamas. Comments. Time is ticking. He's got to make a move. He's got to do it off that last quarter. He's within the back bumper. Here comes Comments. Oh, man, if he gets it off the final quarter, man, I'm going to be absolutely amazed. Comments all over back bumper. Here comes Comments for the lead. Last slap attempt. Final quarter. Comments, what a move, he made it work, Sky Comments, what a job well done, he paid off the strategy, and checker flag, he's gonna win at Dubai, huh. I don't believe it, drag race for third, Finn Guy got at the line there, Sky Comments, just absolutely stole this win from Levi McIntyre, who was dominating the race, and he's going to fall short. You got a feel for McIntyre. He just got absolutely kicked. But wow. I did not think he was going to get it. And Sky Comments, folks, wins at Dubai. Car and pit road, by the way. Not entirely too sure as to who that was. It was a blue car. It may have been Trent Dunham. 
That was the case. Wow. There he is. That may have been the other driver that was with JT Bryant earlier, so. Sky comments, folks. A winner at Dubai. Let's just get your top 10 results. We'll show you a couple instances that came on by. Comments with the win. McIntyre second. Third, Jeffrey Finguy. Fourth, Ramia Fisher. Fifth, Cody Lama. Sixth, Brian James. Seven, Dylan Thoreau. Eighth, Connor Meyer. Ninth, Ace Wild, clean the top ten. Jessica Sheldon, she snuck into the top ten in the nick of time. Alex Strayton just missed out once again. Tough break for the dude. So now we got that out of the way. Uh, let's see what happened to JT Bryant, the 22. I think it's going to show with him and Trent Dunham. Oh, man, he had damage before then. Oh, Cody Smart. Coming off the right-hander here in the final turn. Don't really get to see a lot of instances in this area. Yeah, just got a little too aggressive off that corner. And the 97 just got the 22 Kodak Toyota. And man, he hit that wall a ton. And it said on our thing, the piston was the main issue that got involved with the damage. So it's a tough break altogether for that 22 team. Now, let's go with the one of Dunham. Because he was a pit road in the final stages of the race. Okay, so. See, he's already got damage here. Oh, Zachary Fitzwater. And this is just inside the top 32. Fitzwater just all over the corner panel of the PS5 Chevrolet for Tweenix Racing. And just look, Dunham spins him around. Just gave him the full yeet pleasure. Hard lick by Dunham. And Mace's car was continuing the whole race there. So that's what happened in that incident. Let's see if we can find uh, Nikki Martinez, actually. Hold on. Who was it that I remember? Oh, yeah. Brett Pritchard, actually. Let's look at this one. This was the beginning of the race. Him and Garcia. Was it this corner? Oh, yeah. It should be over here. Oh, man, it clipped Adam Garcia. Oh. They hit the tire barrier there. Tough lick for both of those drivers. And then Quentin Moore. I know he was the one that got really affected this whole race, too. All right, he's clean here. So let's see what happened to the 89. Oh, right there. Yeah, Nikki just got a little too aggressive on that small little left-hander. and Tough break for both of the drivers. Quinton really got some damage, but Nikki Martinez got damage on the process, too, and really ruined their days, but Quinton Moore suffered the most there. And How did Sam and Oscar not get involved in that one? I will never know, but great control by that AutoZone Mercedes there, and that was mainly the instance that went on by, so... Tough break all in all, but in the end, Sky Commons pulled the big strategy today, and he is your winner at Dubai. Here's a look at your full finishing results, as you see on the left side of your screen. Here they are shown. 37 cars finished the race lead lap, 39 cars all together. Bryant, Pritchard, and Garcia out of the race with their respective issues. Thank you guys for watching. Like, be sure to give a like on your thoughts. Subscribe, be part of the Intercell, but hit that subscribe button down below. You've been watching Reduction of the Intercell, where racing is living. Congrats one last time to Sky Commons on getting the victory here at Dubai. We will see you guys next week or when the next race comes out. And we will be over at Milano for the Cup Series. So, should be interesting altogether. Until then, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Come to the points. Peace.